Hey everyone, today I want to give you my honest thoughts about the Moselle watch from DIY Watch Club. This is a follow-up to the video where I talk about the DIY watch kit and the build process, so if you haven't checked that out yet, please do. There will be a link to it down in the description below as well as up here. So I actually first discovered this through an Instagram ad and I thought it looked pretty cool so I decided to buy it. It's actually a collaboration with Ionic, uh, which is a Chinese company that does custom watches but it's only mentioned that it's a collaboration on Eonic's website and not on DIY Watch Club's website. Anyways, on to the watch itself. This is the Moselle with a blue sunburst dial and a black leather strap. The body is made from polished 316 stainless steel and the crystal is a piece of single domed acrylic. As for the dimensions, it's 38.5 millimeters across, 45.5 millimeters from lug to lug, AKA top to bottom, has a lug width of 20 millimeters and is 13.3 millimeters thick, but a lot of that thickness comes from the domed acrylic. On the dial, you can clearly see that it's an open heart dial, meaning there's a hole cut out so you can actually see the balance wheel spinning in the movement. Personally, I don't prefer open heart dials because I think it breaks up the symmetry, but I wouldn't exactly consider it a deal breaker. There are only two hands on this, indicating the hour and minute, so there's no way to tell the actual exact seconds, which is actually pretty helpful since this isn't exactly the most accurate movement around. The dial itself is actually made of metal, so all of the markings that you see are actually just parts of the dial that weren't painted over in blue. I actually think this looks a lot nicer than if they were to just paint it all in blue and then paint the markings in white over it. In terms of the markings themselves, it just says automatic at 12 o'clock with no brand name anywhere. The hour markers are just standard Arabic numerals with the 7 missing because of the open heart cutout. Then it has rail markings to show minutes with every 5th minute being a little bit thicker than the rest. Looking at the crown, it's actually signed with the same letter D that's in the logo for DIY Watch Club. Not a lot of cheap watches have signed crowns, so this is actually a pretty nice touch. Flipping the watch over, you can see that it has a see-through case back with an acrylic window, which lets you actually see the entire movement. Around the case, it says hand assembled, 316 stainless steel, Japan movement, water resistance 30 meters slash 100 feet, and DIY watch club. It also has the same letter D from their logo that you can see on the crown. In terms of the movement, this is a Japanese made Miyota 82SO. It moves at 21,600 beats per hour, has 21 joules and a 42 hour power reserve, and is accurate from negative 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. I can say from my experience that it gains about a minute every three days, making mine 20 seconds positive per day, which is not too bad and falls right within that window. The movement is automatic, hand winding, and also hacks. Automatic means that the watch winds itself just through the movement of it being on your wrist. Hand winding means that you can actually wind it up yourself by rotating the side crown when it's pushed in all the way. And hacking means that the movement will actually stop if you pull out the crown to the first position and set the hour and minute. Now finally, let's move on to the strap. This is just one of the standard black 20mm wide leather straps from Eonic's website. According to their website, the outside is genuine calf leather from a Swiss supplier and the inside is a suede-like material, which means that it isn't actually a real suede, but it's still soft and comfortable nonetheless. On one strap, it says Bell Toscana, which is actually Italian and translates to Tuscan leather or leather from Tuscany. On the other strap, there's some Ionic branding with their logo, and that same logo is seen again on the buckle. One thing that I do really like about this strap is that it comes with quick release pins, meaning no tools are necessary if you want to remove them. All you have to do is slide the pin back and the strap will come right off. So now we have the final question. Do I actually like this watch? Yes, I do. I think the sizing is great for my six and three quarter inch wrist, and I really like the blue color that's on the dial. It's a pretty clean and minimal watch, especially with the simple Arabic numerals and lack of branding, with just a little bit of flair from the open heart dial. While it is a touch on the dressier side, I think this would also look great on casual outfits as well. All in all, I think it's a pretty great looking watch and have definitely gotten plenty of use out of it, 
as you can tell from the huge scratch on the crystal and the case. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.